everybody welcome back and wow this thing's done oh man why do i do this to myself procrastination is my middle name not really my middle name's actually matthew but um it ought to be procrastination because i am an efficient procrastinator i can do it like nobody's business and with that it gets me in all kind of stress so way back in was it march or i forget when it was anyway early this year i was a uh, or before that i yeah early this year some I, I can't remember the dates my wife heather can say like oh this such and such birthday i'm like man I, how do you know these numbers but anyway i got chosen by the um, by Mark Batson, I've got my name pulled out of the hat to choose the 2023 USAC build. It's our Unified Scale Automotive Cre Content Creator uh, Group. That this is an annual build now that we do, and uh, someone else will be picked from my um, hat or whatever, however we choose to do it. Um, and we'll just continue to do this year after year. It's really fun if you don't let yourself get totally uh, swamped out with it and uh, wait till the last moment. Like, I think there's not, it's not, I'm not alone on that. I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys, these guys, a lot of the guys uh, wait till the last minute. Unless you're Jason Hanscom with Blue Ox Model Shop, then you, fix, you finish it like six months early. But what fun is that, right? So, I chose the 55 Ford panel truck or the truck i chose it because uh it was a kit that meant something to me this one actually does i built this as a kid but the reason i chose it uh heather built that 55 truck which is the same very it's the same thing just without the uh, panel and uh i got to enjoy helping and watching her build that and i thought you know what that's that's uh something special so this is why i chose this not only it's a ford and it's really cool I chose to do the panel, um, and I went bonkers, uh, not thinking about everything I had to do to it. But anyway, my friend Miguel over at Hobby Works, uh, he designed me a chassis. I still had to do a lot of redesigning on it because it didn't fit this uh, body. This body didn't work right. But anyway, I'm doing all this talking. You guys want to see what's under the box here, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it's done. I'm very satisfied not near as many details uh, that I would like to have done on it. I can still go back and do those things, or I can just build another one. Yeah, that's what you should do, Matthew. Build another one. Stress yourself out again, but the next one won't be on a group build. I can promise you that. It'll be something I can take at my own pace and, uh, and do as much detailing without a time restriction. But anyway. All right. Well, without further ado, I'm going to show you my finished... My finished truck, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's cool. Kind of kept with this theme here. So what do you say? Drum roll. All right, let's... Maybe it's still okay. Oh, there we go. It's the bootlegger with a piece of... A piece of dust on a roof. So, I, uh, I wanted to keep something original. <laughs> Since pretty much everything else is not... Um, I remember someone mentioned in the original posting that I did of this that I was going to basically just use the body. They were like, ha, ah, that's really funny. You you chose this kit and you're only using the body. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's all I used was the body. Um, but that's okay. That, it's a 55 uh, monogram panel. And that was within the uh, guidelines. So, hey, I like that shiny paint. You can see me. See? Watch. Let's see if I can wave. Hey. Um... So I took that chassis, that monster truck. Oh, it was a mud truck chassis. Not not quite a mud monster truck. It's not near as beefy. But I put my little twist on it. Decided not to use those mud tires that um, I thought I had some in a box somewhere. But I guess I... Oh, here, here's, here's one here. This is not the mud tire. but um, This is the tires that would have been on it. They're a real aggressive... Um, tractor tire style but i just went back to my monster truck roots and i said you know what bigfoot was always my hero truck and miss bigfoot and ranger bigfoot and aero 
star bigfoot and all that stuff so i went and 3d printed off these wheels and tires which would have been the same wheel and tire that uh the miss bigfoot uh used or bigfoot number one he didn't use these wheels but he did use these tires or 48 inch goodyears however i scaled them up to like probably 55 inch tires if if they were one to one so they're quite a bit bigger than um than what the 48 inch would have been so they're, they're larger um but i liked i thought it gave it a better look having a little bit bigger tire on it um so glad that my decal worked it was uh kind of sketchy at first you know how some of those old decals will be really milky and foggy looking not on the paper they looked fine but as soon as you add water it something breaks down in there but i kept working with it and cleaned them up uh the color is i think midnight black or something. no um anyway you have to go back and watch the other video it has blue in it believe it or not and if the sun shines on it you can see the blue i don't have let's see i got a flashlight right here i don't have my phone on me let's see if we can get the blue to you see that you see it right there it has got blue in it but you would never know it unless you took it outside in the sun and uh it is really pretty but without the light it is straight up midnight black but it's mcw enamel uh covered it uh, laid down the decals wet sanded the body laid down the decals and shot 2k clear it's got two coats of 2k clear on it and it's got a great shine and that 2k clear is tough as nails you can't hardly scratch it um, so that turned out really nice um, the engine also is a hobby works designed by miguel um, 460 the blown 460 i offer this engine over at mcvproducts.net it comes with the blower hat and the breather by the way if you're interested but uh it turned out just awesome i was so stoked when i saw the uh what it looked like finally yesterday when i finally put the blower hat and actually mounted it um, because i just would hold it up there because i didn't want it to get broke off still working on it and it's kind of vulnerable it sticks up there pretty high but i was so glad how that turned out and um i got it beautifully centered right in the middle and uh, i'll have to take the camera off the tripod here in a second i did not use a grill i wanted that open front look um, because it is it's like a it's still like a mud truck monster truck mud truck so i left the uh the grill out i contemplated putting one in it but i was like no no i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave it open as well as the back it also it also is is opened up so you can see the chassis the roll case the body is not fixed it comes right off and i'll take it off here in a second but um i think it turned out so cool so darn cool the windshield if you watched my last video or the one before i can't remember i talked about how i created that windshield out of the original windshield because the way the windshield worked it had uh these it had the vent windows here where the windshield wraps around the inside and, and creates the glass for the the vent well i removed the vent windows and see the body is not back there we go sorry um i removed those vent windows and then i got to thinking that the windshield it interfered with my roll cage if you'll notice the roll cage goes clear up to the windshield and that didn't work so i'm like oh no i'm going to create some kind of windshield what i did was took the windshield pressed it in from the back took us took inscribed the shape of the window frame onto the original window and cut that out uh, very painstakingly and sanded a lot and got that windshield to now instead of it setting back into the window frame it sets flush in the window frame as you can see there and it gave it more of a race racy uh window maybe plexiglass window look and that is exactly how I wanted it to look so that turned out great I took and glued it in with testers clear part cement it worked really nice I didn't use Mod Podge because it's that stuff's a little sticky and tacky and this thing was barely holding on by a thread I had a time getting it to stay in place very difficult and once I got it in there I took that uh, uh clear part cement and just turned the body over and just let it run into there so i didn't have to touch it at all with mod podge i'd have had to kind of brush it in there or something in it it would have touched it and it would have fallen out so the, i was saved by the tester's clear part cement and i've always liked that stuff but i forget that i have it and i'll just use the mod podge all right so 
Um, shall we take the body off? Because you can't see much at all with the body on. And I know the body is the showpiece or whatever. It's the it's the part of the the build that is you know what I chose. But under the underside too. So the hood luckily does come off, although the throttle linkage that doesn't have actual throttle linkage hooked up to it. But anyway, one of those things that I wish I could have done but didn't have time. But it does come off just barely. Well, actually, that was a lot easier than I thought because I got the body back where it's supposed to be. So it comes off. And uh, the engine, I like it because it sits back under. Oh, I just, I, just, I just had the tire. The tire turned, and that's not supposed to turn. It might fall off mid-video. Um, but the engine sits back under. See the windshield? You can see it. But then there's a firewall that uh, prevents the driver from getting caught on fire if it blows up. And let's go and take the rest of the body off. It just pops right off. And there's the chassis. So the chassis, I, um, the, the, from here back, I built that out of styrene because it didn't have anything to support the body. And I wanted to be able to support the body, uh, have something that it would sit down on. So I just built that out of styrene. It's modular. This all will come off. There's, uh, locating pins, uh, that, that hold the the roll cage on and it will pop off and it will break very easily if you're not careful because uh, uh, resin is is very brittle uh, I didn't make this out of some sort of uh, strong resin which I do have some of that stuff but I didn't make it out of that um, but the seat I so everything here is 3d printed ev everything except the plug wires um, which is cool to be able to do that I'm very fortunate um, the seat I printed, I will have that up on the website very soon. I know some of you guys have mentioned that, but it's a sure enough race seat. It's super cool. I don't have seat belts. You know, what's the chances? I sell them Protect seat belt. I was out. I was like, oh, but anyway, um, I'll get, well, no, I won't. I was about to say, I'll get some seat belts in it, but I'm not going to put anything else into this. I'll do another one and learn from my mistakes. But I uh, 3D printed the tack. The shifter, steering wheel, the foot pedals down there. It's got the got the deal where your foot goes under the under the where you can pull the throttle back. You know, it's like a emergency pull it back kind of throttle pedal and the uh, the brake. Since it's a since it's a uh, automatic, you didn't need a clutch pedal. However, I will be having some clutch or some pedal assemblies on the website very soon they do have a clutch but i could i also have these they're just so fragile and brittle. i don't know if they'd make shipment um radiators 3d printed um the headers turned out cool i have a story on the headers i'm really curious to know why that tire turned a while ago it's not supposed to turn maybe it turned on the wheel that's probably what it was it slipped so the headers they don't look like that they're not supposed to look like that can i find a header okay here is what the headers look like, right? Long tube headers. Um, I don't know what in the heck went wrong, but I never figured anything about any of the four bars being in the way, the four link bars here. And they start interfering with everything. And it was like, oh no, I've got, oh no. And so it even throws you farther behind. You see there's an upper four bar on the other side of the header. So what I did with the headers, and I think they look cool because they're like shorty dumps now. Um, what I had to do is I cut these headers. I took outside with, you don't really cut resin. You have to grind it. If you start cutting on, it's just going to break. So I just ground them down. Let's see where to, how far. Ground them down right about here. And then I had some headers that my friend Alan Qualls had sent to me a while back. And they had these turnout dumps. Like, that's what I call it. And I cut one of those off. And I took, believe it or not, uh, I, I glued the dump onto those four cut off pieces of header. I just, at, at the angle I wanted, I just glued them on. And I took a piece of heat shrink and, and just heat shrinked it down and painted the heat shrink and all. And it turned out pretty nice. If you, it, luckily, the, uh, well, you can see it. Can you see? There's a piece of heat shrink there. It's kind of the green part. But that is what I had to do, and I was in a pinch. I, I didn't, I couldn't find any headers on Colts or anywhere else that 
number one would fit the the intake or the uh these are specifically made for this 460 so i wanted the uh the exhaust pattern to be exactly right so i just made those headers and i think i think they turned out darn good for uh being in a rush um yeah i printed that little shifter there that's cool that actually is that the shifter that comes with miguel's i don't remember if that miguel created that or if i got off cults but anyway but yeah i'm i'm, I'm really happy about it the uh i got the radiator hoses ran they actually run into the chassis so we ran the radiator hoses in partial of the chassis ha huh? um because i couldn't figure out where to put them so i just ran them into chassis you know and i know people will hide wires and things like that in the chassis um but yeah the radiator does it is there is a radiator hose upper and lower and they run and they hook into the chassis and then they can connect back a while, uh, ways back where the uh, radiator hoses go but anyway um fuel cell that was one that i that's one of the fuel cells that i have on the website now um, but yeah, this engine, let me tell you what, once I finally figured out my printers, uh, the first hundred that I printed, um, my printer just, I couldn't get it right. I couldn't get it right. But once I got it printing correctly, man, it's a sweet engine. It's super cool. And, uh, like I say, once the printer, I figured out how to run a 3d printer, everything looks a ton better. I like the blue. I thought the blue just gave it a good contrast on the valve covers. Um, orange plug wires I had you know black blue red I just thought heck I'll just throw something really off color on there so I put the orange ones and um, those turned out nice so I also had to shorten the oil pan that's another thing that didn't work don't know what the heck went wrong there either I lowered the engine a bit because um, it was interfering really bad with the cow the um the injection the injector hat was interfering with the cow so i lowered the engine some and when i did that it messed every all the geometry up so i had to actually take my oil pan after the engine was built um, and painted and everything and i ground the bottom of the oil pan down repainted it and gave it some clearance now in real life if you hit a bump that's going to tear the oil pan completely out of it but this this one ain't going to hit no bumps but i mean i don't know what else to to say about it besides i am stoked i think it looks just so cool and uh i don't really think it's show quality uh i'll probably take it to jack's con but I, I just there's too many mistakes um a lot of things that i learned but oh one other thing darn i about forgot i put plexiglass behind the driver how do you like that so on you know you don't want just wide open and there's a radiator right behind you either so a lot of monster trucks and things like that will have plexiglass so behind the driver is plexiglass i took a piece of the material that i thought i was gonna have to make a windshield out of cut it out and got it glued in there so now the driver is all protected and uh yeah that was something that you, you really don't see it unless unless i told you about it but there you go it's a little foggy too and it kind of worked out because it's not crystal clear so yeah anyway USAC build 2023 is complete waiting on 2024 i don't know who it's going to be it's going to build this one but we'll find out soon and uh thank you guys for all of your support you guys are wonderful great thank you so much for all you do um your support over on the website is outstanding i just can't i just can't believe that it's become a success this is a success as it that gosh i can't talk the success that it has become um and it's it's only because of you guys ellie thanks you for a paycheck and i thank you for being able to do that for her and uh and just to have you know to further this hobby along now it's like there's so this it's opened up an absolute other world not that i had time for another world but it's uh yeah it's great so thank you guys so much for all you do um i like looking through the door window seeing that seat sitting there isn't that cool that is awesome got the head head restraint type deals up there but yeah thanks guys for all you do um i'm really looking forward to knowing who 
it looks crooked, but the actual camera is crooked, not the not the truck. I'm looking forward to who the next person is going to be and what they decide to pick. Um, I wonder if it's going to be 24th scale. Uh, if it is, that's all right with me because I like uh, 124 scale stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm done. I mean, I ain't got nothing else to talk about. But again, thanks guys for all your support. Thanks for uh, me being picked. Not that it wasn't, but luck of the draw. But yeah, I'm glad I got picked and got uh, glad I got to do this. I'll never get to do it again. Um, I don't think, but it was fun. Uh, stressed me out, but in the end, it is a it's a cool truck, and I can't wait to put it on shelf. I'm gonna take it down to Jack's Con just so, so we can look at it and kind of laugh about it. But yeah, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget mcvproducts.net. Get all those 3D printed parts that I've got. I actually am going to have these tractor tires on there very soon. I'm already shipping out one set. I don't even have them, have them on there yet. A guy contacted me and I uh, worked it out. But anyway, one set's going out. And these will be on the website along with these tires here. Uh, the original size too. So if you don't want them that big. Um, anyway, uh, thank you to Mark at HobbyNutModels.com. All the paint, other than 2K Clear, that's Automotive 2K Clear. But all the paint, every stitch of paint, if you want to color, came from hobbynutmodels.com and Mark has supported this channel beyond belief and I want to just say a big thank you to Mark over at Hobby Nut Models. Go over there and check out his inventory, everything he's got. Um, go pick you up some goodies over there at hobbynutmodels.com. He'd appreciate it and I'd appreciate it too. Um, yeah, so it's a wrap. Um, see you on the next video, which I hope they become more frequent than they have been. Uh, maybe at least four a week. And uh, yeah, guys, you take care. And uh, don't forget, I'm about to show a bunch of pictures of this thing. And uh, they're cool. All right, guys, take care. See ya. See, see my hand? I'm waving. See ya. <laughs> Bye.